What? That's what I thought. Today's the day. I don't really want to leave, but I'm done pretending. Anyway, it's kind of poetic to leave on your birthday, right? I just had the strangest dream, but I'll tell you about it later. It's late and I have to get up early to do a presentation. I'm kind of nervous. Anyway, this is my last video entry, so I mean, it doesn't matter. So as I'm sure many of you can tell, I think a lot about what we can see, but also about what allows itself to be seen. I think about time, about the eternal now, about the world, about the universe, and I wonder how much of it we've really experienced, how much of it we really understand. You know, they talk about the limits of the unknowable and the ever-expansive realm of imagination, and that's where art comes from. Art operates in that liminal space between dream and reality, between this world and the next, between truth and lie. In fact, art is the lie which reveals the truth. Thank you. How was that? That was good. A little heavy on the technical words, but it was good. When do you present? Monday. Lucky. I just hope Dr. Williams grades nicely. I'm sure you'll do fine. Thanks. Anyway, I better get going. Hey, Rachel. What's up? Do you want to hang out soon? Maybe you can help me prepare for my presentation over coffee tomorrow. Sure. I'd really love that. Rachel! I can, I can see you, but I've already been here. You, uh, you just talked to Daniel, right? Well, I did. We did? And then you told me to calm down and Maybe then... Maybe you really should calm down and tell me what's going on. What time is it? 11.06? No, it can't be. That's, that's not possible. I know what you're about to do. You can't, you can't do it. You can't do Get it. Get away from me! Don't do it! Creep! And then he started saying that 
time was all wrong and that everything had gone back. I know, I couldn't believe it either. Yeah, it's strange. Anyway, I have to get going. I have something to take care of. No, nothing to worry about. It was great talking to you. Hey, Mom. I love you. I'm sorry for everything I've ever done, but I'm really grateful for all the moments we had. Yeah, everything's fine. I just thought you should know. Yeah, I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. What choice do I have? Choice do I have? Time. Because you've got to make a move. Which will put yourself out of your own control. Into the control of a better, the real self, the spirit, which is substantially identical with God. You've got to I meditate in such a way that you identify with your higher self. Now, how do you do that? Well, you start by watching all your thoughts, very carefully, watching your feelings, watching your emotions, so that you begin to build up a sense of separation between the watcher and what is watched. So that you are, as it were, no longer carried away by your own stream of consciousness. You remain the witness, impassively, impartially, suspending judgment and watching it all go on. Rachel! I can see you, but I've already been here. You, uh, you just talked to Daniel, right? Well, I did. We did? And then you told me to calm down and Maybe then... you really should calm down and tell me what's going on. What time is it? 11.06? No, it can't be. That's, that's not possible. I know what you're about to do. You can't, you can't do it. You can't do Get it. Get away from me! Don't do it! Creep! was here that college groundskeepers found 20-year-old Emery Beck on Wednesday afternoon. They found him slumped against this tree with his body convulsing quite violently. Several students in the area called for assistance, but before medics could arrive, it was already too late.
Paul Smith, one of the groundskeepers, told us that they found a handwritten note near Beck's body which said, this is the only way that I found. Students plan to hold a vigil for him this Friday. You've unfortunately got a lot of thoughts inside your head that aren't yours because you think in the English language and that was given to you by other people and contains their prejudices. And if you listen carefully to your thoughts insofar as they are uttered in words and they very often are, uh, try and discover the tone of voice in which certain of your thoughts are being said and you will listen and hear your mother or you will hear an aunt or you will hear a school teacher or we'll hear certain friends expressing their opinions and telling you who you are and how you ought to behave. And you think those are your thoughts and they're nothing of the kind. Holy shit. Emery? How is this possible? I don't, I don't, I, I don't understand. Am, are you I, real? Am I imagining things? I, how are I you? don't know what to tell you. I am not Emery. I'm Rachel. You mean you don't know who I am? No. I don't understand. Do you, do you mind if I sit down with you? I just wanted it to stop. But then I woke up again. I didn't want a second chance. I just wanted silence. Emery used to say that all the time. I know. I don't know what to tell you. It's like, it's like I'm fading and his thoughts are appearing. So does that mean he'd come back if you waited long enough? I don't know. Just... Just leave me alone, okay? Sorry about Will's reaction, by the way. He's always been kind of emotional. Who are you? You know who I am, Rachel. I think... I think you want to know what I am. It's hard to say, really. You know, I don't think I even fully understand myself. Good luck with your presentation later today. Oh, 
someone's interested. Catch. Look, people don't really die. Things don't really die either. I mean, everything just sort of resumes its original potentiality. The afterlife isn't quite something, but it's not quite nothing either. You know what I mean? Okay, look at it this way. Every once in a while, a soul, a lost soul, comes back to redeem itself. And in my case, to keep you from making the same terrible mistake that I did. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? Who sent you back? Not so much who. I think what would actually be a better question because it goes by a lot of names, but that's a different story for another time. But are you happy there? Would I be happy there? It's not that simple. Just promise me you'll keep holding on. I know it's hard, but it's not time yet. The time isn't right. And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now.